All right, it's just about closing time here at Coyote Classics, um, but we wanted to make sure we were able to video this beautiful 1966 Le Mans um, before we head home tonight. This car is just gorgeous. I love the color combination. I love the four speed. Um, quite honestly, I love just about everything about it. It's a cool car. We just got done doing a 1967 Le Mans convertible, and they left that one 100% original as far as the Le Mans and didn't clone it into a GTO at all. But uh, this one, the restorer chose to do a GTO tribute to, and he did an awesome job. I mean, completely went through the rear tail panel, put the correct tail panel in it, all the right emblems, hood, and uh, put a nice running 400 engine in it, backed up by a four-speed manual transmission. I mean, this thing just screams muscle. Yeah, it's a show quality car. When you look at the underside of the hood, the inner fenders, um, even the, the detail and the cleanliness of the, the engine itself, it just tells you how well this car was taken care of. Yeah, and this car was built about seven, eight years ago, um, at least. I was just trying to think, and I might have put it on the on the ad on the uh, website, but um, very nice older gentleman had it. He yeah, builds quite can... a few cars. And, you know, it was just time to move this one, um, and uh, he had a 58 Impala that he was working on, and uh, that's what his next dream was going to be. So um, this one came up for sale, and now it's time for you guys to buy it. But as Dalton pointed out, the inner fender paint, just every part of it is, you know, it's pretty mock restoration, Dalton. So, frame's been all blasted and powder coated as well. All new A-arms, all new stuff up front. Great car. It drives like a dream, too. Well, I mean, when you do a frame off restoration on a car of this caliber, I mean, they're going to drive good. Yeah. It's just a car you just take to a car show and cruise the top down. I mean, the only thing telling the saying that this ain't a factory GTO is the VIN number, all. Other than that, I mean, it's GTO all the way. All the gaps are super nice on the hood. It's got a nice little 400 rumble out of that dual exhaust. Nice tailpipes. I mean, like most people when they do a Le Mans GTO clone, they don't go ahead and put the GTO tail light section in it. It's quite expensive to do, and this guy did a beautiful job on it. All new chrome. A back bumper looks great as well. I love how he's got the exhaust coming out too. Yeah, this is definitely different. Um, trunk lid fits good. The car is laser straight. It's got beautiful paint on it. I like what he did with the wheels too. Um, just did a beautiful job. Powder coating all the wheels, new trim ring, center caps. We went ahead and just put four brand new BFG raised white letter tires on it. Had a little smaller tire on it. It's got 15s on the back, 14s on the front. It's got a nice muscle car stance. And it looks nice with the raised white letters. It came in with just the black walls. Yeah, to me, the, the muscle car like this, especially with white interior, needs to be have raised white letter tires. And how about white interior on a convertible? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's, it's way cooler. It's classier. Mm -hmm. You just don't see it very often. Not to mention, you sit out all day at a car show and it doesn't get, you know, as hot as black interior. Yeah, definitely. As we go around it, again, the paint has got a nice, it's a, a little lighter blue than the first one we videoed today, that a uh, dark blue metallic. It's kind of a medium blue metallic. Um, still has a lot of metallic in it, and it really turned out nice. A few little white specks here, guys, just buffing compound still. But as we look here at the uh, bottom of the rear quarter, it's in excellent shape, bottom of the door is perfect. Let's check out the corner of the door. I mean, this, <laughs> these uh, doors have never had any work done to them at all. I mean, it's 100% rust free there. Uh, if you go to our website also, coyoteclassics.com, check out our undercarriage photos of this. There's probably about 20 of them. And uh, again, frame off, rock solid car. And don't you like the blue? The blue with the, you know, the blue carpet, the blue dash, and the light blue carpet on those uh, parchment door panels. In this car, we're not trying to oversell it by any means. It's just a nice car, and there's not really many negatives to talk about. New wood grain. The wood grain on the steering wheel matches the wood grain on the dash. It's got the real nice Hurst four-speed shifter. Nice-looking little boot there. 
It's got the GTO grab handle. Dash pad's excellent, seats are perfect. Um, again, got the new lenses in here and the door panels have all been restored. The paint on the top of the quarter panel and in the inside's all nice and new. It's got a power top. Um, it's got the correct pads and everything here as well. And when he did it, Dalton, then they took it all apart and they painted all the frame white mm -hmm. on it. They and what color is the top? The top's white um, as well, top isn't Top white, it? yep. 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 And that's Brand new white shape. top. All new uh, roof rail rubbers here. They went ahead, I mean, all of it. All the rubbers around the quarter windows. All this is brand new, all new felts. And it's got the high dollar felts in them. So, I mean, there is no expense spared on the restoration. And the fact, like I said, it was restored six or seven years ago is kind of remarkable. Yeah. It's a little tiny scuff right here. I think it'd probably be buffed out. No scratch or nothing, just a little scuff. Not really anything I do to this car. I mean, it's just fantastic. Um, original chrome mirror here, you can tell it's, you can't feel the pits, but you can kind of see the little discoloration. But on this side, this one looks like it's been replaced. That one has, yeah, the original one on the driver's side. Probably, that one's probably new because it never came with two of them. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, back then, that was definitely an option. Windows really go up and nice, up and down nice, guys. It's quarter windows, rubbers fit good. You got seat belts, the factory GM seat belts in the back and front, and they look like they've been replaced. It's a factory tack and gauge car as far as what is it, what's in it right now. Horn works. Wipers work. Um, it's got the factory gauges up here. But uh, Restore went ahead and put some aftermarket ones on just to make sure everything was knew exactly where everything's at. I don't know if I'm sure they're the radio works, but you just got to be smarter than it. <laughs> we have a hell of a time with radios. Looks like you're supposed to hold the power button there. But I don't know. There, we do have a book for the radio. I don't even know if it's hooked up, but looks like a new radio, don't it? Yeah, it does. We have a book for it. So, uh, gas gauge works, wipers work. Be damn. Yep, it Heater fan works. Was a power antenna car. Um, and it's got the antenna back there, but I don't know, it doesn't seem like that's working anymore. Probably because radio's not hooked up, I imagine. Yeah, it could be. I really like this shifter. I mean, just the non council shifter. It's got the nice small little boot. And yeah, this thing drives really nice. I remember I just drove it last week before I broke my foot, but. Drove it in the trailer is about all I drove it. I mean, it's one of those cars when I went and bought it, I didn't even drive it. You didn't need to. You can look underneath of it and look around it and have the quality and you know what the hell you got. Exactly. Listen to how just nice and quiet it sounds, too. Got a nice little rumble. Drives like a GTO, it's pretty it quick. It does, huh? Man, we just got out of that 1967 and that thing halts major ass. Yeah, it? That, that was, that was an automatic 400, 400 horse. Um, I don't know if I can shift this thing as fast as that turbo 400 shifted that other one. Yeah, the 90. pretty quick. But the one thing I want to point out as far as the shifter goes on this, very nice. Really nice shifter. Temperature gauge works, alternator gauge works, oil pressure gauge works. Um, the tachometer moves a little bit, but I'm we got to look at it. Yeah, we got to look at it. It, it goes up to about 500 RPMs, and that's it. Sometimes those tacks need a resistor if you want with fuel and, or uh, electronic ignition in them. This thing drives nice, man. Look at this. straight down the road. Look at that. Isn't that a nice car? Yes, it is. There's one finger on the steering wheel. 
no vibration, nothing. Brand new tires. I mean, this car's ready for a show, a parade, a cruise, whatever you want to do with it. Absolutely. No rattles, no nothing. nothing. Just, I mean, this is, this is just like that 67 that we just did. I mean, that 67 is a fantastic driving car. This is too, except for this one's got just a little nicer paint interior. Yeah. You know, it's a fresher restoration. But they're both quality, quality Pontiacs. Yeah. Get on the website and check this thing out. Um, like I said, <laughs> this is a quality car, fun to drive. Definitely would uh, take a car show. So, uh, coyoteclassics.com. Thank you for watching.